The singer has been on the receiving end of salacious headlines involving Conor McGregor and Beyonce. But she believes she has been misunderstood over the years. Reet said, I was a victim of a lot of scrutiny, I still am, it's just the world I live in, it's just what it is, but you can survive it, and you can come through it. I wanted to do this and be a female in this industry to have the capability of having a voice. I was a victim of a lot of scrutiny, I still am, it's just the world I live in, it's just what it is, but you can survive it, and you can come through it. Reed Ora recent overseas trip put things into perspective for the star. She explained, I went to Africa and met kids who lived in villages that have no clue what goes on and other things, like eating and living with their family. And I just looked at life in such a completely different way. And so I just look at things differently and I wanted to be a voice to people. Rita Ora's sexiest snaps singer Rita Ora and her sexiest snaps around. Part of Reed's giving back is a partnership with Absolute called The Open Mic Project, writing a song using fan lyrics. She explained, when they then told me it was from fans and people that usually don't have a voice or the light to shine their stories on, I was like, this is just perfect, because then I can write a tune, a song about their stories. I did and it's called Proud, and it's an amazing record. And it comes out Grammys week. It was also a way for Roots to connect with real life after whisking herself across the globe. I got even closer to my fans, she said. I could almost speak for them, which I found really powerful. This song is from real people's stories that aren't in the limelight, that probably have more inspiring stories than headlines that we read nowadays. And I feel like that is just so more important toward the world. I hope those fans all get a slice of the royalties. Dash. Caught live, Ellie Goulding and friends at the Royal Albert Hall the biggest names in pop came together for Ellie's Anwell Streets of London charity concert. You have the power to end homelessness. She urged before a powerful performance of Another Love from Tom O'Dell. George Ezra, Ray, James Blunt followed plus Bastille's Dan and will debuting new track World Gone Mad. Dan then joined Craig David for their current single I Know You. This went down extremely well with Ellie who admitted she got a bit fangirly revealing, Craig David was my first concert. Ellie seemed to gain extra energy from her supporting pals, and climbed on speakers during her renditions of Burn and Love Me Like You Do. The entire cast returned for a sweet finale of Wham! S Last Christmas. Let's hope it's the last Christmas on the streets for all. Dashmar mixes it with Max guitar god Johnny Marr has unveiled his musical collab with actress Maxine Peek. The priest sets Peek's spoken words to Marr's soundscapes and is based on the characters that Joe Gallagher met on the streets after becoming homeless in Edinburgh. Gallagher wrote a diary of his experiences for the big issue under pseudonym James Campbell. Marr said, We started a creative process that clicked and culminated in a song and short film inspired by a facet of modern life as we see it. 
Dash Lily thanks Giggs Lily Allen has thanked Giggs for knocking her down a peg or two. The pair collaborated on Lily's first single in three years, Trigger Bang. Lily the London rapper laid into me slightly after she refused to play her old hits in 2014. She said, he was in my dressing room at V Festival telling me what I probably already knew but didn't want to confront, people wanted to hear the old tracks. Dash Ed looks simply perfect Ed Sheeran Ed Sheeran can add cross-dresser to his mini list of skills. The star spent the day in London with pop pal Anne Maria and couldn't resist trying on her wardrobe. I think this cropped white jacket is particularly sexy, Ed. My favorite person, captioned Anne Marie, who clearly doesn't mind. Ed has also recorded a new version of Perfect with Italian tenor Andrea Bocelli. Pop, folk, grime, hip hop and now opera for Ed. Dash. Beyonce Beyonce's thigh high Beyonce is flying high after her Ed Sheeran duet hit no one in the US and made her the second most successful female pop star in US chart history, behind Mariah Carey. The perfect songstress celebrated by taking a trip on her private jet in a pair of 7,500 pound Saint Laurent thigh high boots. Superstar Beyoncé Superstar Beyoncé flaunts her incredible curves. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment your opinion, share this video and subscribe to my channel. New videos are uploaded every day.